Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashim Ali Khan. So now I'm starting the unit number three in the subject computerized accounting. In the previous videos, I have completed two units. Unit number one is maintaining chart of accounts in ERP. Unit number two, maintaining stock keeping units. Now this unit number three is concerned with the recording of day to day transactions in ERP package. So I'm going to explain you the detailed contents of this unit number three in these videos. So watch the video till the end to get the complete confidence on the subject of computerized accounting so that you can write an examination with full confidence. So before starting this, uh, I mean, unit, take a screenshot of all the points which I've written on the board. I'll explain each and every point in detail. Come on. Now I'm going to start from beginning. What are the contents of this units, unit, unit number three? That is the recording of business transactions in ERP. The contents are, first of all, I'm going to explain you about the introduction of business transactions. What are business transactions? Because the business transactions only will be recorded. The first step in accounting is recording of transactions. So until and unless you are clear about what are business transactions, we cannot record it. So I'm going to explain that. Secondly, source document. There should be some evidence for the transactions. Then only it will be recorded. Without evidence, we cannot record the transactions. So evidence we can get from the source document. The important source document are vouchers. So what are the vouchers? These are the invoices, bills or any contracts or any document on the basis of which the transactions are recorded. So recording of transactions in ERP. Then in the package, ERP package, accounting package, how we have to record the transactions that I'm going to explain. Then the trans uh, the vouchers are divided into two categories that is supporting uh, vouchers and accounting vouchers. So accounting vouchers are receipt vouchers. Then contra vouchers, payment voucher, purchase voucher, sales voucher, debit and credit note voucher general. Simply you have to remember the functions, function keys. The function keys are from F4 to F9. F4 is the for contra vouchers. This you have to remember. F4 is the contra voucher. Then F5 is the payment voucher. F6 is the receipt voucher. F7 is for journal f8 is for sales voucher f9 is for purchase voucher and f uh, control plus f8 will give you debit note voucher and credit note voucher that's it so from f4 to f9 that you have to remember f4 f5 f6 f7 f8 f9 and one control plus f8 that's all so these are the different vouchers we are going to use in order to record the transactions. Now, first of all, so I'm going to explain you about the first topic, introduction to business transactions. What's a transaction? Transaction is any activity or event which can be measured in terms of money. Or simply we can say exchange of money or money's worth exchange of money or money is worth in a business is called a transactions. So when a business conducts a transaction, it will become a business transaction. So simply you can remember any event or activity which can be measured in terms of money is called a business transaction. The various business transactions conducted in the business are purchasing the goods, selling the goods, goods or services. Similarly, paying the expenses like salary paid, rent paid, electricity bill paid, telephone bill paid, discount allowed, discount received, cash received, cash paid, depreciation provided, bad debts provided, all these are called transactions. These are the examples. So all these transactions must be recorded correctly. There's a systematic procedure of recording the transactions. 
So these are called business transactions. So in a company, the transactions are recorded on the basis of documentary proof. For every transaction, there should be a supportive or documentary proof that this transaction had taken place. On the basis of that evidence only, the transaction will be recorded. Transaction will be recorded. Simple example, when goods are sold, when goods are purchased, there should be some document produced. Example, when you go to purchase some goods, like you go to purchase a vehicle, a car you have purchased, a bike you have purchased, you will get the invoice, bill you will get. Similarly, when you go to purchase an electronic goods like air conditioner or television, LED, so definitely you will get one invoice. That invoice, bill, or contract, document, these are called documentary evidence. On the basis of this source document, we will record the transactions. So these in a company, the transaction are recorded on the basis of some documentary proof called the source document. The so second point is regarding source document. The so source document are the documentary proof of the transaction. On the basis of this source document only, the transactions are recorded. Now popularly this source document are called vouchers. So commonly the source document are called vouchers. So vouchers will be the base, basic document on the basis of which the transactions are recorded. So simply you can say what are vouchers? Vouchers are the source document. Vouchers are the source document on the basis of which the transactions are recorded. The source document shows the nature and amount of the transaction. This source document that is bill, invoice, etc. This will give you the nature of the transaction and the amount of the transaction. On the basis of that source document, voucher only, the transaction will be recorded. The vouchers are classified into two categories. So in this package, ERP package, all the trans vouchers are divided into two categories. That is supporting vouchers and accounting vouchers. So what is supporting? The supporting vouchers are the documentary evidence in support of a transaction which has taken place. These are called supporting transactions. Example, when we buy the goods, we will get the invoice from the supplier. The invoice, uh, the supplier will issue the invoice to us. The invoice is a supporting document, supporting voucher. On the basis of this invoice only, the transaction will be recorded. Secondly, accounting vouchers. What are accounting vouchers? Accounting vouchers are the supporting vouchers or secondary vouchers. Sorry, it's a secondary voucher. It is a voucher created supporting the this transaction. First voucher, supporting voucher. So accounting vouchers are supporting or secondary vouchers and prepared on the basis of supporting vouchers issued by the third party. Example, the business has decided to purchase a machine. So first of all, a purchase order should be made by the business. A purchase order should be prepared by the business. On the basis of this purchase order, we will purchase the machinery. When we purchase the machinery, we will get the invoice. So invoice is the supporting document, supporting voucher. And this purchase order, what he made, what we made is the accounting voucher. So purchase order, accounting voucher. And invoice, what we get is the supporting voucher. So on the basis of the supporting voucher and accounting voucher, we record the transactions. Now, Tally accounting package contains more than predefined vouchers. We are focusing on tally accounting package. There are so many accounting packages, ready-made as well as uh, tailor-made. So every accounting package will offer some vouchers. So in tally accounting package, 20 predefined vouchers are already there. Apart from that, if a business requires some other vouchers, they can create or they can modify the existing vouchers. So totally 20 predefined vouchers has been offered, has been given by tally accounting package. So what are the different uh, I mean, vouchers already available in the tally package are credit note, debit uh, delivery note, material in, material out, contra, payment, purchase order, payroll, receipts, sales, 
physical stock stock journal sales order journal so these are few examples i have given which are predefined vouchers given in the tally package apart from that additional vouchers can be created or modified based on our requirement these are not fixed but apart from these vouchers a number of additional vouchers a business can create according to its own requirement apart from that it can modify these vouchers also so this is the feature given by accounting tally package so this video i'm stopping here in this video i have explained you what are the contents we are going to study in this unit the contents are business transactions source document vouchers recording how to record the transactions then types of vouchers are there accounting vouchers and supporting vouchers and what are the different accounting vouchers have specified the function keys the function keys are from f4 to f9 you have to remember that f4 is for contract voucher f5 is for payment voucher f6 is for receipts voucher f7 is for journal f8 is for sales voucher f9 is for purchases voucher and control plus f8 will give you debit note and credit note voucher that's it inshallah uh, this discussion will continue in the next uh, video on the subject computerized accounting but apart from that i suggest you to go to the playlist of my channel select the subject computerized accounting you will find the videos of the first unit and second unit and apart from that i have started a new channel by name hans accounting institute in this channel also i have uploaded many informative knowledgeable videos which will enhance your knowledge on the subject of accounting finance and management so watch those videos also and get a lot of confidence on your specialization and do subscribe my second channel too inshallah we'll continue our discussion in the next